the outside of our Airbnb. You can see it's in the middle of this little quaint neighborhood with cobblestone streets. Right? So surrounded by two alleyways. Um, tricky to find again, but well worth it. This is our bedroom. The bed was extremely comfortable. There were also lots of blankets, which is nice for folks like me who get really cold. As you can see, um, there's some blankets, extra blankets down here. Also, the closet had a lot of shelving and hangers so that you could fit your belongings in here comfortably. There's a cute sitting area by the window, and then these windows open and they're also shaded. Hi neighbors. All right, so that's the bedroom. Um, the first bedroom, I should say. There's a second bedroom here with two singles that I'm sure are also pretty comfy. You didn't spend any time in here. But that's kind of the nice thing about the scene is you can comfortably fit four people, which ends up, if you break it out, the cost by four people ends up being a really good value. So now we're going. This is the entryway into the living area. Flat screen TV, TV stand. There's Wi-Fi, which is really good and free. Um, DVD player and cable. And also, comes with movies. I think they're all <laughs> in Portuguese, except for Invictus. Um, so if you're interested in seeing any Portuguese movies, this Airbnb is for you. The decor is really nice. It's just modern. It's, it's simple, but modern. Um, like I like this tiling on the window, or excuse me, the wall and this lampshade and just has little touches of decor that make it feel homey or like the designers or the whoever manages this airbnb were being very thoughtful um this is the sitting area between the living room and the kitchen um you can see there's three seats here with a cute little table um, there's some maps down here. There's a coffee maker. This is my life mantra, FYI. See the Wi-Fi password. Here's the bathroom. That's actually pretty spacious. I mean, coming from New York, it doesn't take much for bathrooms or any living area to be any more spacious than what you get in New York. Um, but this one is actually spacious and comfy. And another nice feature about it is, oh, the towel warmer, which is nice. And then there's a hot shower. Um, the plugs here are the standard European plugs. As long as you have a converter, most of your low voltage items should be fine. I tried to use my steamer and it didn't really work. Um, but all my other regular items charge fine. And then here's the kitchen, which I didn't spend much time here because yeah, I'm not a great cook, um, but Rakim did, and he loved it. So, quick tour. This is the stove. It's electronic, um, and apparently the stove top is a magnet. I don't know how this works because, again, don't know anything about <laughs> kitchen appliances, especially not modern ones, um, but apparently it's really cool. Here's the dishwasher. Yes, a dishwasher fancy um and as you can see just a nicely decorated uh kitchen there's this window that looks out to someone's patio with two dogs that bark loudly when you open it but they're friendly we like dogs so it's all good microwave which we didn't use toaster um hot water boiler thingy fridge um, and then here's just like a closet with cleaning supplies. Um, 
but let me come back to this side so you can see just like all the items that the kitchen comes stock with um silverware lots of drawer space a mixer um lots of cups as you can see here and everything was just again very thoughtful clean i don't know what this is clean modern it really felt like home we went to a grocery store called oh gosh my memory is not great i'll put it in the comments but we went to a grocery store that's probably a 10 minute walk from here and we loaded up on shrimp and pasta um i mean everything a regular grocery store would have this one would have and it's extremely close which was nice because we like to cook our own food or rakim likes to cook food and i eat his food because it's <laughs> i generally know what's going into it and it ends up kind of being more economical than what you get at like restaurants especially touristy ones so anyway we cooked quite a bit now we have leftovers which we're going to eat at the airport anyway this airbnb was awesome it's called lisbon time and it's in alfama which is a pretty well-known area here in um lisbon it's kind of off the beaten path so i am three thousand percent sure you wouldn't find it on its own um and the hosts know that and that was been part of the instructions to come in here is don't try to look for the street because you won't find it um but anyway we were able to eventually anywho it's worth the slight bit of confusion because this place is so nice it was very well um like managed in terms of the reservations folks and just like the cleanliness, the thoughtfulness, it's extremely spacious. And I'm also gonna post some pictures of the neighbors because um, they're so cute and they invited us to have ginja and some sort of uh, moonshine with them, which was fun. Anyway, great stay at Lisbon time. Thank you, Lisbon. Thank you, Sintra. Thank you, Portugal. Mm -hmm.